Bernard Tobin here at the Commodity Classic, Denver, Colorado. I am over at New Holland now, catching up with Paul Welbig. Paul, how's it going? How's the show? Oh, it's been a great show so far here in Denver at Commodity Classic 2025, and lots of traffic, a lot of interest in some of our latest and greatest technologies we brought here to showcase. Let's talk about some of that new technology, Paul. New Holland IntelliSense sprayer automation being rolled out here at Commodity Classic. Tell us a little bit about it, where it fits. I mean, I see the words versatile, productive, you know, it's, it's sense and act technology, right? Yeah, yeah, no, it's, uh, you're spot on. It's very exciting new technology that we're, we're uh, announcing here at the show. So IntelliSense sprayer automation is really uh, a next level of a leveraging technology, sense and act capabilities to enhance, you know, uh, increase productivity and provide an ROI to the to the to the customer. And how we're doing that is through a, a basically a sensor package that's uh, mounted on top of the cab, and able to look out across the field about 50 feet in front, about 140 feet wide, and and survey the you know the field ahead of it and making different decisions to provide. Uh, full season utility of live VRA capabilities, selective spray modes, uh, provide uh, increased productivity through the fact that we can go at uh, high speeds to provide uh, those types of solutions. And then, you know, with that, provide a real unprecedented ROI to the customer. Hey, let's talk about some of the features here. You mentioned live variable rate and selective spot spray modes. Um, let's talk live variable rate. Um, uh, nitrogen. Fungicide, PGRs, harvest aid, you can do a lot of things. Yeah, that's kind of one of the, the unique uh, aspects of this technology is the fact that it has uh, five different uh, VRA modes. So yeah, whether or not you're, you're applying nitrogen in different crops uh, to provide uh, nutrients uh, that way. Uh, also, like you said, the uh, harvest aid uh, in particular, like say in Canada where they're uh, maybe doing applying a desiccant for uh, harvest for canola, uh, we're able to, to see and sense where there's live plants and you can only treat those areas to again save the save the farmers some some money on on those on those products now from a selective spray perspective paul you've got spot and base plus boost tell me about that yeah so the the difference is like as you know the traditional spot spray mode is you're only going to spray uh where there's weed pressure or something like that that the sensor detects uh, boost plus or a base plus boost mode. What that is is you you have like a base rate of, of a broadcast application, and then you can boost up in certain pockets where there's uh, weed pressure there. So you're always putting on some sort of a product, um, and then you can boost it up in areas that might have higher pressure. Mm -hmm. So you still are putting on some product, but you might might want to increase different areas just based on again, what that weed pressure might be or, or other types of uh, whatever you're trying to spray there. Mm. Now, I want to talk about uh, this particular sprayer. Um, you've got IntelliSense sprayer automation on new 2026 models of the Guardian front boom sprayers. Front booms, and that's a big point here, right? Yeah, yeah, so yeah, this will be available factory fit uh, on the model year 26 Guardian sprayer. So we're excited about that. Some of the unique advantages of the Guardian sprayer itself, it is a front mount boom sprayer. So you, everything's out in front of the operator. You can clearly see this technology working at its finest because it's all right out in front. So it really helps uh, reduce stress for the operator. Um, and you know they're not always looking behind to make sure everything's working okay. Everything's right out in front. Uh, the other advantage of a Guardian sprayer, it's also a high clearance sprayer. So you can actually do a later season application of taller crops uh, because of the height of the of the chassis, and so that allows for an additional application window to leverage the technology to get more savings. Question: Let's wrap up with them some thoughts on uh, availability here. Um, the 26 model uh, are coming out of the factory. Um, you can actually get a retrofit for 2023, right? Yep, that's correct. So it will come factory fit uh, on the model year 26 Guardian Sprayer later this year. With that, we will also have a retrofit kit. So if you have a Guardian Sprayer already, a model year 23 or above, uh, you'll be able to add this exact sensor to those sprayers as well. And then we also have uh, another version, which is an aftermarket version that you can put on all makes and models of various sprayers. So uh, we got a lot of different options for farmers to choose from. All available for model, 20, model year 26, right? Correct. Awesome. Yep. 
Great stuff, Paul. I appreciate you making some time for uh, Real Agriculture here at Commodity Classic. Thanks for uh, making this time. My pleasure. Thank you. Yeah.